Okay, today I want to look into some Japanese concepts. The first of which is muda. Muda would be Japanese for waste. Now, uh, over here we have, uh, starting out, we have a few uh, types of waste that we're all used to. We're, you know, that's obvious to us. Uh, we have wasted time and time waiting. Uh, that's a waste of our time. Uh, for the product, uh, if the process takes too long, that would be a waste of time in the factory. Uh, as far as waiting goes, if we have a product uh, that goes through several processes and the first process gets done quickly and then the product is uh, waiting for the next process, you can see this by the pile of components laying around the building, uh, then we have bottlenecks and that is a waste because the product is not doing anything it's not uh, there's no value being added to it it's just sitting there and actually uh, going back to SEM 210 if we are in a situation of a factory we want even flow which means uh, process number one uh, takes you know 30 seconds and then number two would take 30 seconds not a minute uh, and then number three would take 30 seconds so then we have even flow throughout the building and the product is not parts of the product aren't waiting around defects obviously waste if we have defects we either have to scrap the whole thing or rebuild it uh, rework it and that's a waste you'll notice that a lot of these are connected uh, that's a waste of materials, a waste of time, a waste of effort. So we don't want that. So the next one is overproduction. This is actually pretty popular. We make products in big batches and then we don't need all of that at one time. So the trick for that, for overproduction, would be to create smaller batches. How many times have you cooked? Like, at your house, which is probably, you know, this happens all the time. You cook too much, then you put it in the Tupperware, put it into the fridge, and never think about it again, well, until a week later, and then you have to throw it out. So that's also the case for products. Uh, if we're producing too much, and the customer doesn't want that at the time, that's a waste. We have materials tied up, and oh and they're in storage uh, waiting for a customer to come by and we think we're, we're saving money when we do big batches but at the same time it's creating a lot of waste over processing is an interesting concept uh, if we're trying to create a product or a service for a customer but if we polish it up too much if we put too much uh, money or too much materials into it that, that aren't needed, uh, then uh, we are over-processing. And we're adding, we're adding uh, effort and materials to a product that the customer doesn't value. This also goes for services too. If we're running around trying to do this and the customer doesn't even care about that, we would be over-processing the service. Transportation, moving things around. Uh, and not adding value. That would be another type of waste. And during that transportation, uh, damages could occur or the product gets lost or something like that. Now, not all transportation is waste, obviously, because you don't want to drive to California every time you want to buy ketchup. That transportation to the store is uh, adding value to the product, but not all transportation is adding value to the product. Now, an interesting concept is inventory. Some of you might be accounting students and you have to calculate, you know, work in progress and inventory and all of that stuff. But that is waste. It's waste of space. Uh, materials are tied up. Cash is tied up. It's not adding value to the customer. Uh, and therefore, we purchase, you know, you purchase in bulk and then to save money but then you have to put that stuff somewhere so we have a warehouse a warehouse with 
our raw materials. And then we have our operation. And then if we overproduce, then we have to have another warehouse, which costs money and the product's not doing anything. This is the concept where just in time comes in. We get the materials as we need them and then as the customer needs them. So it's a pull system. The customer, we predict that the customer is going to need it really quick and we produce it when they need it and we get the materials when we need them for our operation. Now, going further, <clears throat> you probably haven't thought of mental effort being waste. Uh, we do have a concept called Poka Yoki, I think that's how you pronounce it, which will be the next video, uh, but mental effort. Things are too hard, if they're too difficult, if there's too much to remember, then we start making mistakes. So here we go with defects. So we want to look at difficulties and make it easy on the mind. You say, well, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, be a mental gymnast to work here. No, that's a waste of mental effort. Some, some of you work in an office and by the time you get home at night, your brain is fried because you're trying to keep up with all of these little details and things like that. No, the Japanese would say, make it easy on the mind. <clears throat> uh, physical effort. You got to work hard. You're not working hard. Well, the point isn't to work hard. The point is to add value to what the customer, you know, what the customer wants or needs. So instead of wearing out the body, we need to make it easy on the body. Some of you might notice that I'm, I hobble a little bit. That's because I <clears throat> wore out my left hip serving the customer, probably trying to work too fast and tearing up my body in the process. Motion. <coughs> uh, kind of related to transportation in a way, but it involves like you. How much motion do you waste doing something? Do we have to reach way over here to get something or way over here? Well, why don't we bring that here? or drop it from the ceiling so maybe the screws for whatever are close by so we don't oh bring them closer see waste of motion we need to minimize the waste of motion uh, you might notice the waste of motion in your house uh, look around your house and the layout of your house cooking dinner in the kitchen uh, they told us that we need that middle you know thing or the table in the middle of the kitchen which leaves us going to the sink back over to the fridge over to the stove back to the sink back to the fridge that is a waste of motion skills and talents if we don't explore what the employee is capable of and and what talents they have they they go unnoticed and unused so that would be another waste a waste of skills and talents we didn't tap into those and they were left hidden and unused and that would be waste too. So as you can see, Muda isn't just waste of time, uh, waiting in line, waste of money. We could put money up here, but don't let that, you know, get you uh, going cheap. Uh, but there's so many other ways and this the, to waste and create muda, and we need to be thinking about this. Uh, now, uh, look around your house as well. I got a little personal, you know, thing because this begins to bother me after I start about thinking about muda. I look around my house and go, "Why did we buy that? Why did we buy that? We've never used it. Why did I buy those vitamins that I never took, and now they're expired? That was twenty-six bucks." Uh, just look around your house. Did you really need it? That money could have been gaining it interest for you, working for you, making passive income. But no, we bought the gizmo. Uh, ladies, look in the closet and see what, see if there's any waste there. 
Again, I talked about the layout of the kitchen, but the layout of the house. I don't know why people have these huge houses, especially when you have to go upstairs. That is waste of motion and transportation, I guess. Uh, but the layout of the house. If you have a two-story house, which is where the bedrooms are, maybe up on top, but the kitchen is down here, you're spending most of your time going upstairs. Why don't you just put the bedroom next to the kitchen, which would be next to the bathroom, and next to the front door, and you would minimize all that walking around. Uh, also, think about the mistakes that you make over and over and over. You forget this. Uh, you left the lights on. How can we stop making the same mistakes over and over and over? So, there we go with Muda. There's a lot more to Muda than you may have thought. Uh, this one, commonly accepted in business. Uh, have inventory, buy in bulk, do a big batch or you know, a big set of products, and then have a warehouse, and all of that is waste. I read a story once about the Toyota guy who went to a, a factory that he'd never been to. He said, what's that room? And they said, oh, that's our warehouse. Said, no, get rid of the warehouse. That's waste. Okay, so there we go with Muda.